Hi ESL 45, welcome to week 11. In this video, I'll explain what you need to do for this week's assignments. Okay, the first thing you should do is click on week 11 overview in your modules. Right here, you'll see a video, this video that I'm talking in right now. You're going to watch the video. If you have any questions about this week's assignments, type a question below in the text box. So if you go down to the very bottom, you'll see a text box down here. Or you can email me or text me if you have a question. For Friday, by Friday midnight, you have a reading from your textbook from Beyond True Stories. The reading is about how Jerry Yang and David Filo started the company Yahoo. We've all heard of Yahoo. Um, it's the internet search engine, yeah? So this article explains how these two people developed this company. You're going to read the article. It's on pages 39 to 40, and then do the exercises on pages 41 to 43. If you don't have the textbook, here is a copy of the pages. I took a picture of the pages in case you do not have the textbook. Here are the two co-founders of Yahoo, the two people who started the company, their co-founders. So the article, I highlighted the new vocabulary words. So you're going to read the article, then select the main idea. What are the reasons for Jerry and David's phenomenal, amazing success with Yahoo? Check three reasons. So what are the three main reasons? Here are the vocabulary words, and you're going to write the, match the words below with those in italics. So these words in italics, they're kind of slanted. These are the definitions. Like number two, David Philo, Philo was someone who studied with Jerry at Stanford University. So someone who studied, the answer is a fellow student. So David Filo was a fellow student at, of Jerry's at Stanford University. So you write the answer here. I put some flashcards. So if you don't know what these words mean, I give definitions of all the words. Like, for example, cubicle. What does cubicle mean? So it's basically this, a small room or compartment for sleeping or for work. In this picture, it's for work. These are cubicles. Okay. So you'll do vocabulary. These are some special expressions like to come across. That means to discover by chance. Um, while I was shopping, I came across a very good book. A very good book at the store. So to discover by chance. And you're going to write example sentences here. Word got out means many people heard. So word got out that we were using Zoom for our classes. So many people heard about it. To top it off means in addition to all the other bad things that happen. So for example, um, I lost my keys. Then it started to snow. To top it off, um, I broke my foot. So it's one additional bad thing that happened. So you're going to write example sentences using that expression. Understanding main, main details. So imagine that you are Jerry Yang and a reporter asks you the questions below. Write your answers to the reporter's questions on a separate piece of paper. So. Imagine they were, you were Jerry Yang and you're answering information about your company. So you're going to write answers based on the reading. And then scanning for information for this activity, you're going to scan the story for these words. So 
Qi Yuan. So you go back to the article and you just look for, where does it say Qi Yuan? Oh, here it is. Um, so it says Qi Yuan changes his first name to Jerry. So what's the question? We have to go back and think of a question. What question? Think of questions that would give you these answers. So what is Jerry's Chinese name? Okay. So that's that homework. After you finish the pages, check your answers. And then finally, send me your homework. You can type your answers and email them to me, or you can take a picture and text the answers to me. On Sunday, you have your Seed Folks reading. So you're going to read chapters 5 and 6. You can watch the YouTube video while you read. These are the vocabulary to help you re with the reading. And then quizzes. You're going to take a reading quiz and a vocabulary quiz. Remember for the vocabulary quiz, you need to launch. So you'll see something like this. You need to begin. Yeah? Begin. So you're going you're gonna to see a table with different words. What? What word from the table best completes the sentence? So this is the sentence. One of my favorite, favorite spices is blank. I love to use it in my cooking. So you have to choose from here the word. Okay, so there's 10 of those. And then also for Sunday is your writing assignment three final draft. Improve your jobs paragraph. You're going to add more details, organize it better, fix the sentences, check the verbs. You will get feedback comments on your first draft by Tuesday. Here are the directions on how to view feedback. So if you uploaded your paragraph on Canvas, this is how you're going to see your comments. You're going to go to grades. You're going to click on the assignment. This is writing assignment number three, first draft, the first draft. And then you're going to see this button where it says view feedback. You're going to view the feedback. And then you're going to be able to see my comments on your, on your paragraph. Okay. If you texted or emailed me your paragraph, I will text you, email you back comments by Tuesday, and the final draft is due on Sunday. Our Zoom sessions are Mondays and Wednesdays, 1040 to 1140, or maybe even a little longer, okay? And you just click on this link to join. And there's also online tutoring if you need extra help. I hope we have a great week 11, and I'll see you in the Zoom session. Take care.